Chile is picking up the pieces today, literally. The military sent out crews to help clean up the debris following Saturday's 8.8 magnitude earthquake. But no matter how much they lift, the task appears to be never ending as the rubble dominates the landscape here. <laughs> Residents are scrounging for every scrap of food they can find. Aid is coming, but not fast enough. This man says the government should give more and that anything is welcome. The country's president says normal services will resume as soon as possible and insists there are no shortages. But people here will tell you otherwise. And even as the country tries to recover, there are reminders of just how tenuous the situation is. Another strong aftershock brought yet another tsunami warning, and residents once again hurried to higher, safer ground. The search is continuing for survivors, but as the days wear on, the chances of finding anyone else alive slims. Meantime, the official death toll continues to inch up. It's still short of a thousand, but many are still missing. That tsunami scare was exactly that, a scare. But it was a reminder of how this region, which we're told is so prepared for earthquakes, is still deeply shaken by one of the worst earthquakes in its history. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Concepcion, Chile.